This little video is about dealing with blocks that Mineways doesn't know about. You might have a modded world where, let's just open one in fact, uh, you just have blocks that Mineways simply doesn't know about and you'll get a you'll get a dialogue like this. So there's a bunch of unknown blocks in this in this particular world. Uh, Snowgrass, glow melon root, stone bricker, and so on. And so anyway you get a bunch of names like that and in fact here's where a bunch of those blocks are. This is, uh, and what you'll do is, uh, well, in Mineways, what it does currently is it turns all unknown blocks into bedrock, just as kind of a, hey, wake up, there's something here that Mineways doesn't really know about. You know, maybe you want to do something about that. Um, and so there's a few different things you could do. Uh, so let's just export that right now. I'm going to put it in this test object. And there we go. And that should be here. And so, yeah, you can see um, there's this bedrock for a bunch of these blocks. Uh, this corresponds to this. You can see that block there and so on. So these are all now just turned into bedrock. Um, well, one thing you can do if you want to get, uh, uh, if you just want to sort of get rid of those blocks is you can, um, let's see, let's say, let's say no bedrock. Make it spell real good. There we go. No bedrock, and so what I do is I want to get rid of bedrock. I want to say basically when I export, I want no bedrock to appear. So that's now made a color scheme. It's just a simple color scheme. You can see it as one of the two you pick. And now if I export again, so I can repeat my export. Uh, I'll just get rid of that. And now if I hit R to reload, uh, I've reloaded, and you can see all the bedrocks disappeared. Um, but we can get better than that. And uh, let's see, one way that you can do it actually is you can go to scripting, script only commands. So there's two commands that you might consider using. One is that you can simply uh, set whenever you want. You can set a little file that'll basically set unknown block ID to whatever, some number. So let's see, maybe I can actually make one of those real quick. This is going to be exciting making this on the fly. Uh, but let's see if it works. Okay, so Let's see, I set the unknown script here, and I say um, zero. Okay, and then I want to save, and I've got all this junk, and let's just see. Uh, we'll just call it to air. MW script, my way script, and so what that should do, let's see, now we'll, we'll go back to our standard color scheme. So you can see that, you know, we have this bedrock here. Um, all right, so if I uh, import this script to air that I've just made, it's a very simple script. Um, what I've done is I basically said, if I run into an unknown block, set it to zero. Zero is air. So if I now hit R with this, if I reload the world, that's indeed done, the, done that, is that it's basically reloaded this world, but instead it's basically said every time I run into an unknown block, uh, just, you know, <laughs> basically get rid of it, uh, just turn it into air. And so uh, I've done that and we can verify that by hitting R here and you know all the blocks are basically gone. Well it's hard to, <laughs> hard to point out, it looks exactly the same as before. But basically we've done it in this somewhat different way of using scripting to just say hey I, I want all those unknown blocks just to get rid of them. So that's one quick way you can do things. Um, but a better way really is if you want to make those blocks into something useful is to make your own script. So I made my own little script here of translating some of these things. So I looked at what was in the dialog and I translated just a few of these just to what seemed like reasonable things like snow grass, I'm turning into snow, glow melon root, I'm turning into melon and so on. And that's all explained in this translate area here. And if you click in fact on, it says the list of block names that Mineways currently accepts is here. If you click on that link, it'll go to this list of Here's all the names, like Spruce Sapling and all the rest. Here's all the different names that Mineways um, understands. And uh, it's pretty obvious what each one turns you know, something into. So if you want something turned into a chiseled block, quartz block, you put that as the second name here in this translation. So, so like I say, here's some of the things that came in, Snowgrass, and I've just decided to turn that to snow. And there's some that probably are not, not great fit. So like, this one's a netherite block slab. Well, I'm just turning it into a netherite block. 
Um, so that's not quite right. It's not a slab anymore. So I might just pick some slab instead that I could use here that I substitute later, and, and so on and so forth. Crystal blue, I don't even know what that is. I just made it light blue terracotta, um, and so on and so forth. So anyway, so now I have this script, and what I want to do then is read in this script, and I import, and I read that script in, and okay, so I've read the script in, and again what I need to do is uh, I want to reload the world, so you can um, you can use reload world, or, or you can just do a quick little thing of clicking on this thing and hitting R, and that reloads the world. And now there's a bunch of these things. In fact, let's uh, let's deselect here so we can see what's going on. Is that instead of all these sort of pieces of bedrock, we now have different things like we have this magenta carpet and other other objects here, um, because that's what we've done. We've su substituted, you know, where there was this carpet slab, we've now put a magenta carpet. Uh, object there. So let's uh, let's export again, and let's uh, export to test.ob, and we export. We go here, and voila! You know we've now uh, turned a bunch of these things into um, other other things. <laughs> um, and you'll also notice that our command, our earlier command uh, to set an unknown block ID of zero, has a uh, has resulted in a bunch of blocks disappearing. Um, and again, what, what you can do is uh, you can basically go through this process. You can kind of iterate. Um, let's say I load, if I load it at this point, say a different world, just some random world, um, and now I load this one again, uh, what should happen, I believe, is that it'll give you the errors again. Yeah, so it's, it's saying, you know, some of your translations are in place, but there's more that you could do. There's this block stairs, carpet stairs, you know, etc., that are um, turned into air. And so, you know, again, we're we're kind of back at this point of, you know, we've got this this sort of uh, half translated state, and we could just go and, and add those extra translations into here. Um, anyway, I don't want to go on and on about this, but that's the basic process: is that you can set up translations for whatever those error messages are and uh, unknown blocks and turn them into some known block. And that's about it. Hope this helps.